Hey guys! So welcome to this little video, and I wanted to say that I, um, yes, I know that my last video was not filmed in my setup again. Um, so, I want to say that, um, that I haven't done a review in quite a bit. I've, um, I really have been wanting to get a review done on another tech device. Now, why not try on a tech device that, um, has recently been discon discontinued? Not this specific model, but generally the brand, the iPod. Now, I want to say that, first of all, um, I've only been using this for a couple days, and um, my opinion has changed over time, so, uh, so, please do take that this is my opinion, but, um, but also, um, I hope that this video comes out okay. I'm going to try to get videos out more often, so, Let's get the intro done, shall we? Roll the intro! Okay, so the iPod which I will be talking about is this third generation iPod. The, um, now, I won't be just talking about this iPod, I will also be talking about the 4th generation iPod, specifically the monochrome iPod. Um, so, so I want to say that real quickly, this iPod has pretty much been my daily iPod. Like, I've been using this for the last couple of months, I've listened to a lot of songs on this guy. Um, I love it a lot, it's such a great iPod. But, anyways, um, I will compare a few details against this guy in a little while, but let's talk about this iPod. So first of all, I want to say that um, this was originally introduced in April of 2003. It costed $400 when it was brand new. I got the 15 gigabyte model, so, four, um, so the, the 10 gigabyte costed $300. This one cost $400, which is the equivalent of $626 today. So, um, so yeah, that's an that's that's a very big price. Um, brand. I only paid forty five dollars for it. So, anyways, um, time to talk about um the um what is it the uh look around it. But so, um, first of all, we've got a hold switch, which if it will focus, hold switch, headphone jack, and the remote input. So this got you the abilities to be able to plug in any like accessories like an FM radio transmitter or maybe even a um, uh, remote to be able to control the iPod without taking it out of your pocket. And then we've got this little port on the bottom which is uh, which is the 30 pin connector. Um, this was the very first iPod to come with the 30 pin connector. Um, and, uh, and this was, uh, and this was a big change since the last iPod used Firewire 400, which is, um, this port right here, um, on both ends, mainly because, me now the main reason that they chose Firewire, mainly because it's like, it's fast and it can charge devices. It provided power. Um, now, um, the, now, the nice thing about this port is that it can sync over USB. Um, so pretty much this could sync up to Windows machines, which by the way, this was the very first iPod to be officially supported on iTunes for Windows. So, so uh, but unfortunately, due to um, USB not having enough power, you have to charge it over FireWire, which is pretty much this cord right here. Um, and you had to buy a power brick, which is pretty much this. Uh, the nice thing is, is that if you were to travel, it's multi-voltage, uh, 100 and 100 to 240 volts. So you can just replace um, this. You can replace it with a different plug, and then and then you can charge this anywhere. Anyways, uh, on to the iPod, which. Which, um, first of all, you will notice um, that it has a monochrome display, which um, has been very common on the iPods until the fourth generation iPod, which is the iPod Photo. This is a monochrome iPod as well. But anyways, 
Um, another thing which you will notice is the backlit buttons for the controls. Um, you've got skip, menu, well, no, skip back, menu, play pause, and skip forward. And you've also got the scroll wheel. This will be the only iPod ever made that will not have the buttons either around or on the scroll wheel. Unlike this one, which had the, the buttons directly on the scroll wheel. Anyways, as you can see um, from my finger, it can move around. We've got music for, for days on end. Yes, I'm a pop geek. Do not judge me, I swear to God. I'm just kidding. But, um, anyways, as you can see, um, it's a very similar display of what the iPods before and after had. The fourth generation would be the last iPod to have a monochrome display as well. As you can see, this is also a little bit darker as well against the fourth generation. Um... But um, anyways, really cool aesthetic with the iPod. Um, it actually looks really, really cool if you were to use one. Um, it also has the stainless steel back as well. If we go into settings, uh, got a thousand songs, 13 gigabytes, 2.3. Um, so... Yeah, um, and I gotta make sure that stays locked so the touch controls don't get activated. All right, pros. So, number one, it has a really cool aesthetic. I mean, you look at this iPod, it's such a weird design. It's not something you would usually see on an iPod, especially for, like, um, for, like, even, the, um, even for Apple, um, the touch controls was such a weird thing. Like, there was no physical buttons, it was just touch. Now, I think this is, oh, okay, anyways, I think this can be some advantage for being somewhat water resistant, but I'm not sure. Please do not try that with your own iPod, and if you do, do not blame me. You're the one that did it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, the touch controls are something that um, that would continue, but not like entirely. This would be the only iPod that had this design with the four buttons on top and the actual scroll wheel on the bottom. Um, uh, now, this also has a higher frame rate screen, which I'm going to get a song which has a very long title. So what's a song which I know which has a very long title? So I'm going to go all the way down to... Um, Okay, let's do Lewis Thompson. I'm, don't worry, I'm not going to play any of this music. I just want to demonstrate the screen. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it does come up and it, um, you can see it. Now I will um, do the same thing with my fourth gen. Oh, oopsie. Yes, I do listen to Blink-182 if any of you are wondering. So... So same thing, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, yeah, you can tell that um, you can't really see on this one, but if you were to compare it, it's very much more jittery on this one. This one is more or less smoother. And also, it doesn't just stop as well, it, it keeps going as well. Um, now let's talk about the cons, which, with this iPod. So first of all, this iPod, which I've had a few small experiences, and this is unfortunately something which I commonly do. Sometimes, um, if I start a song, so let's just say I do the song, let's go for, um, let's go for, Mich Blech, I can't even speak right now. Let's go for Machine Guns Kelly's. Um, my ex-best friend. And as you can see, even if I pause it, okay, so that didn't work, but, um, okay, so let's do, um, okay, so I need to find artists which I know without a doubt it won't do. So, um, if I pause it, 
and for some reason it won't do it now. But, um, oh, it just came up. So, um, what basically was happening is if I pause the song, it'll show up, it says zero, but it, but it will continue to play. Now, for good example, so let's just do, um, let's do the same thing. Let's just do, um, Olivia Rodrigo. Yes, I know that a lot of you are cringing for Olivia Rodrigo, but um, as you can see, if I start playing it, it won't do the same thing. It'll just um, it'll it'll pause immediately. Something which I that's something which I like to do. Like I like to pause the song before it even begins, which um, because maybe I don't want to listen to it immediately and I want to save it for later. If I pause it on this iPod, it won't keep a pause. It'll just keep playing it. Now, if any of you are wondering what that problem was with the um, with the song um, of how I pause and um, it'll keep playing, so I'm just gonna demonstrate. So I've got the song here. Watch. So, and just to prove it's not like a small thing either. So I've got. If I can keep the brightness. So I'm gonna. So I'm going to go up to, um, let's just say I go to Synth Coal and I go down to Crawl. Now just to prove it doesn't happen on my 4th gen, which hopefully I can plug in with no problem. So, sorry it doesn't, um, that, um, now I paused it there. It doesn't it doesn't start playing and everything just wanted to show you what I meant another thing is that the touch controls the touch controls are kind of too sensitive now um, I'm gonna now I'm gonna give a really good example so please um, so I'm gonna take this iPods back and just oop so now I know it's now I know you're not meant to just touch the back of the iPod with that and everything, but um, basically um, sometimes I keep hitting the camera. Sometimes I accidentally touch the the back or the um, mostly this button to skip and maybe even pause, and even this sometimes like you'll like um, if I were to um, accidentally press this and while I'm in the middle of the song and it's like, oh no, I just, and then accidentally do it there. It'll accidentally, um, I don't know. It'll like, if I press this and it'll, it'll go all the way to a point of the song where I was like, oh, I don't want to listen to that song anymore. But anyways, uh, my opinion time. So first of all, um, uh, First of all, I want to say the construction pretty much just um, pretty much just the same as every iPod um, stainless steel back and plastic front. Um, for this, I would use I I wouldn't mind using it. It's it's comfortable, and um, some people do complain the thickness of these iPods, but I honestly really don't mind. It just feels a lot more um, a better chance to be able to keep it in my hands instead of um, dropping it. Okay, now for the touch controls. So the touch controls, I think, in my opinion, are really, really nice. Um, when I was um, um, when I was using it for the first couple of days, I had an opinion to think that oh, the touch controls are just kind of a gimmick. Um, yes, I know there's touch controls on this iPod too, um, with the um, with the um, with the click wheel, but um, for a full on touch um, touch control iPod, I think it's really nice. But sometimes it's a little bit too sensitive. I'm starting to get used to it, and the thing is, is that I really like it. Um, design wise, looks really really cool, um, and especially with the backlights, you can see that the backlights definitely do make it look a lot better. Um, um, now, my opinion, just generally, just short opinion on this iPod. It's a very nice iPod, not an iPod which I would use every day, but um, I would be happy using this.
Um, but would I replace my 4th gen? I would have to give it a few more days to think about it, but I just generally like this iPod better. But, um, not a bad iPod. I like it. So, thank you guys for watching this little video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the third generation iPod. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.